Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last run, too good. We got some good progress as Kane. we got a lamb kill. So if I remember correctly, I mean we did do a run very recently with Judas that went well. I think we're due for either a Maggie, a... Eh, we could do Blue Baby, we did it recently. A Maggie, a Judas, or an Eve... Or a Lazarus run. Let's do an Eve run. I think it's been a little while since we've done an Eve run. It's hard to keep track with so many characters, but anyway. Let's see. Seed is 6 EGX, 6 Eurogamer X's, 1 TKC, 1 Team Killing Coward. It's the slogan for uh, the movie about competitive Team Fortress 2. Oh my god, that's fucking... Is that Sacred Heart or Pyromaniac? I think it's Pyromaniac. Sacred Heart would be a heart. I just got freaked out for a second because I haven't seen Sacred Heart yet. Probably got overly excited. Uh, Pyromaniac is, as far as I can tell, one of the rarest items in the game. I saw some posts about, uh, you know, special items on the subreddit. Didn't spoil anything necessarily for myself except some math and, uh... Is that Butterbean? Oh man, Butterbean is so bad. Um... Basically reusable knockback. I can't remember if we've had it over the course of the uh, the run so far, but if enemies get close We can kind of fart them away. That's about it um, If pyromaniac is so rare, of course, I want to get it But I doubt we're gonna have the opportunity to do so this is a uh, <laughs> This is a seed where you should play as Azazel and things would go very differently for you But I think that's true uh, most of the time anyway, but this doesn't have to be another you know discussion about Azazel I actually think the butter bean is probably the worst of the bean items. Oh Really? I held downgrade pill, but it does allow us to use Horror Babylon consistently, but uh, is that really worth a health downgrade? I don't think so. What would make me feel a lot better is if we got to deal with the devil. Oh my god, that is... The cats are trying to break into my room. Um, what would f make me feel a lot better about this is if next floor we just managed to pick up a deal with the devil that gives us nine lives. Then uh, we get permanent Horror Babylon and survivability. It's a very groovy combination, baby. Now, sure. I know there's another place we could use that bomb and uh, get three cents out of it. Figured we try here. We got one cent in a key. Is that better? Eh, it's, for now, it's probably a wash, but... Uh, why do I think that... Uh, time to put my money where my mouth is, by the way. I've got to beat Dingle without getting hit. Probably without getting hit, anyway. Um, why do I think Butterbean's the worst? Regular Bean uh, doesn't recharge on a single room. Like, it takes one full room to recharge. It can't be used multiple times per room. That being said, it also does poison damage and, uh, you know, can do a decent amount of poison damage. Butterbean just pushes enemies away. Sure, we can use it multiple times per room, but is it really going to be useful for anything other than, like, fighting flies? Probably not. Growth hormones? Fairly solid. I can live with it, at the very least. Um, I wonder if we could break poops with it? Nah, they kind of vibrated, but it didn't really break them. Uh, so I don't think we're going to be able to get too much uh, good stuff out of Butterbean. We'll be looking to replace it in the future. But it is an item that maybe we didn't have. Like this, this is a room where I could actually see Butterbean being sort of useful, like against these flies. But apart from these guys, if you got good synergies for Butter... Whoa, we started going really fast there. If you've got good synergies for Butterbean, let me know, because I have uh, never considered them. Prayer card seems pretty excellent. And Gluttony, uh, this could solve our HP woes pretty quickly. I'm going to wait to use Prayer card until we're done with the floor. We need a, a spirit heart. I don't know if an eternal heart would do it. We need a spirit heart or a black heart to survive a deal with the devil. Now we do not, because we have an HP upgrade. All right. So we'll lose Horror Babylon, but we did pick up a damage upgrade from our last boss, so it seems like a lot less of a hassle. Now, at least. We got to take care of these guys, because uh, they spawn more dingles, more little, little dingles, which is not a nickname you want to have. Take it from me. Um... Stand further away here. Yeah, we're doing decent damage. I can't be too salty about our damage right now. I mean, it's only the second fucking floor. What am I gonna say? Oh, damage isn't good enough. Big baby, if you can't survive the first two floors without damage, how are you ever gonna do, like, the purest run or anything like that? By the way, people have asked about challenges. When are you gonna do challenges? My thinking was that, you know, there's so much to see in Rebirth, I would start doing challenges uh, in one of two ways. Either after we uh, unlock Platinum God, we'll start doing them. Or Golden God, maybe. Uh, we'll start doing them. And, uh, the other way I was thinking is that maybe if we just get stuck on the way to Platinum or Goldenum, Golden, Goldenum, on the way to Platinum or Golden, Golden God, we would say, uh, you know, let's do some challenge runs because, oh, there was a Tinted Rock there, I didn't see it until now. Um, 
Because then that'll give us like some way to break up uh, a bunch of losing runs in a row or something like that and maybe refresh our uh, our skills, you know, test something different out. We'll see though. I'm not 100% sure either way. But uh, at one point you will see those. Maybe we'll start like a separate side series that's, you know, very short. Just uh, Northern Lion beats all the challenges in Rebirth. Some of them are very tough, so it might not be that short, but uh, anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. No plans to do challenges in the imminent future, but, you know, that depends how we do uh, with unlocks and stuff like that. My main goal right now, and we almost blew it right there, is to not take damage against Pin, because that should guarantee us a deal with the Devil. Guaranteed deal with the Devil. Maybe we trade one HP away. Ooh, you unlocked a... Uh, that looked like Steven. I don't, know, I don't know why that just unlocked, but we got it. All right, well, this is just par for the course now, isn't it? But we actually put ourselves in an interesting situation if we get Krampus's head here. What's better, Krampus's head or like at least four or five HP upgrades via the prayer card? Um, I think I, at that point I would have to take the HP upgrades. So, I mean, I wouldn't have to. Krampus's head is really good, but uh, let's let's hope the decision doesn't end up having to be made. Let's hope that I just pick up. That was really bad. Uh, the dead bird can help me out here. Let's hope I pick up lump of coal here. If I don't, it's going to be a little bit of an agonizing decision. Oh, it's Krampus's head. Oh, so it's a weird situation to be in. What would you do? What are you doing? Because I prefer uh, Krampus's head. I think Krampus's head is a better item than the space than the prayer card. But the prayer card, it's so early. It could do so much for me, so I, I have to go with that for now. What do we have? Three of this? Oh no, two of the same pill. They're all new. Hematomesis. It's fine. Tears down. Sucks real bad. Please be good. Are you a wizard? Two are you a wizard pills. Hematomesis. And uh, there's a tinted rock bag there I should access, but um, we'll wait. Just until we finish. A little bit more here. Um, and a tears downgrade. I would say that's probably in the running for the worst. That's pretty excellent. Probably in the running for the worst coin purse we've had in Rebirth. There you go. And just say, who says Are You a Wizard is a bad card? What are you talking about, Bizsnap? <laughs> now the thing with the prayer card is that um, there actually does come a point where it's better to use it more than just at the end of the floor. But in order to reach that point, uh, it, it needs to be a floor large enough for you to use it three times. If you can only use it twice on a floor, then it doesn't matter. You might as well just use it at the end. Because one eternal heart equals two eternal hearts if you keep that one eternal heart alive. Uh, we're not, the, like, in order to get a, a floor that's big enough to use it three times, or more, you need 18 rooms. We're not gonna hit that, 18 rooms of combat even. We're not gonna hit that anytime soon. Uh, so the way that we would do that is to lower the amount of charge time it takes. So, basically this is just a roundabout way of saying I would love to get, uh, probably 9 volt or battery or, um, AAA battery as far as trinkets go. There goes our spirit heart. Not feeling fantastic about that. An extra key. Uh, let's look for our secret room. If I had to guess, I would put it right here. Fuck our... Oh man, I was going to say fuck our spirit heart, but now I wish I'd kind of not said that. Because we're missing out. It must have been adjacent to our item room. In, most, in the most likely case, it was adjacent to our item room at least. Alright. So we're going to take uh, the eternal heart here. No, thank you, sir. Our goal with a uh, prayer card, by the way, is not to build up an enormous reserve of HP. If that happens, there's there's worse things that could happen. Let's put it that way. But um, that's that's not my goal for this item. My goal for this item is to put ourselves in a situation where we get uh, a lot of opportunities to trade for good items, basically on deals with the devil. So having HP is a luxury that allows us to trade for more uh, more deals with the devil. Right now, that's my hypothesis at least. Brewstone, Mom's Knife, Pact, Mark, Guppy items. Uh, well, that's not good. We're not doing as much damage as I'd like, despite having that damage upgrade a floor ago. And we might have just... Wow, we might have soiled our uh, deal with the devil chances here. Soiled? Spoiled. We didn't just piss on our deal with the devil chances. Well, not literally at least. Um, if we think we're going to take damage, we have to use Horror of Babylon, or, uh, Two of Hearts. Horror of Babylon is what we have active right now, which is actually allowing us to kill enemies in a timely fashion. This is why Spirit Hearts would have been so nice. What do you say? 
Fight the boss with Horror Babylon active. I think we should give it a try. Maybe a Spirit Heart in here? Oh, yeah, okay. So PhD is pretty good. I would like to get that and turn our bad pills into good ones. But for now, oh man, bad start. Um, the Spirit Heart that we got gives us a decent chance to beat Gertie Jr. without getting Red Heart damage, which gives us a decent chance at a deal with the Devil, which gives us a decent chance at lifelong happiness from picking up a, a half-decent item. We're done. Caffeine pill is acceptable. Sort of. Oh? Oh, we got hematemesis out of it as well. Well, I mean, that's free red hearts. We'll take two of hearts for now, though. Um, yeah, it's an interesting situation to be in. What's this card? Tower? It's the tower card. Alright, Tinted Rock right there. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh, careful. The bombs are nice. Oh, and the money's nicer. I wish we hadn't picked up that HP, but uh, one bomb gives us a bomb and a key here. And if we could just get the money, then I could start taking these pills guilt-free. And if we got a lot of bombs as well, you know, I could use the tower card on a room full of mushrooms, and then, you know, I pick up four pills out of it, and maybe two of them are tiers upgrades, one of them's an HP upgrade, something like that. We, we get rolling here. It's actually like a not unrealistic path to success. But for now, uh, we're, we're not quite hitting those highs. And that's okay. Like, we don't know this one, but I don't want to take it until we get PhD. Is that Abel? What did I tell you? Let's, let's start living, um, you know, Lion's Law 2014, which is that Abel shows up on every single Isaac run, rebirth or otherwise, apparently. Wouldn't hold out too much hope for a boss rush mode this time, and I'm deliberately saying it like that because I know I say it like that all the time. Cracking jokes at my own expense. Because if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? That's the thing. I can laugh at myself, but you can't laugh at me. See, those mushrooms are tempting, but... Uh, I think we can land some diagonal shots here. This, this used to be how I did it. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling alright. The party's here on the west side. Um, those are actually... You may not have noticed, but those are lyrics to the classic rap song, This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan. Yeah, we'll open both of these. Oh, it's good. So Bob's brain has become a, a savior for us recently. I'm going to take it because it, it helps us so much. It's also incredibly dangerous. But when it helps us, that makes up for the danger for sure. Uh, so I, I'm not coming around on Bob's brain, by the way. I'm not saying Bob's brain is a good item. What I'm saying is that if you have less damage than you'd like, Bob's Brain is a necessary choice, which is a bit different, right? If you can't pay your your rents and your landlord will evict you in two days, you might need to take a payday loan. That's a different thing than saying a payday loan is a good thing to take. Sometimes necessity is the mother of uh, action, though. Okay. So I, I am happy with this Bob's Brain choice. Now we have enough money to get PhD, because we have enough money for PhD, we'll start picking up these pills and uh, hopefully getting some good stuff out of them. Alright, PhD. It also gives us uh, full health. Did we, the coin purse was the last floor, unfortunately. This becomes bombs or key. That's not very good, but at least we know. And this one here. It might be Are You a Wizard still. I think that still stays in there. Health up. Boom. Well worth it. Now, let's try here for a secret room. Let's try here for a secret room. It's a shame. We should have tried there first, because now, um... Well, okay. Here's the deal. Like, why not use prayer card now? And then just get another HP upgrade out of it. It doesn't really uh, do anything for us. It might save us one charge, because there's one more room of combat here. Um, but I really wish that we'd saved uh, one more bomb. Although I don't think it would have been possible, uh, so that we didn't have to lose our spirit heart coming into this room. But hey, we did it. We got two pills out of it. One's a tears upgrade, and the other one's bombs are key, which I don't think is worth using. Even though I just talked about having more, uh, how nice it would be to have more bombs. Yeah, okay. I think the situation's setting itself up a lot better. PhD already gave us a health upgrade and a tears upgrade, and an are you a wizard upgrade. <laughs> it's a huge upgrade. The are you a wizard upgrade? People don't talk about it probably because they're scared. Scared of how good it is. 
Still want to roll two of hearts, I think. And uh, is there anything over here I might... I mean, oh, there's another pill in there. Are you a wizard? Mm, I'm not a wizard. But I'm smart enough to know that I don't want anything to deal with you. Anything to do with you, I guess. I'd say this floor went okay. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, we'll go two of hearts. It was kind of like... Basically, the reason I came to that decision is that... I didn't want to spend that much more time dealing with a decision that's not likely to make a big difference in the whole scheme of things, so... I decided to say, you know what? Who cares? Maybe Hematomesis is better. It's definitely better if we get lower HP. Um, but, you know, Two of Hearts has a more obvious effect that I think makes it slightly better for my own personal use because I know how to use it better. You know what I mean. The devil you know is better than the devil you don't, you know? So we're at 22 cents. That's another item here. We'll buy every pill that we can get on uh, on our shops now. And if we got bottle of pills, we might prefer to go with that. Although, a guaranteed HP upgrade every floor versus maybe a couple of mixed ones every floor. Who knows? Hopefully we don't have to deal with that because I'm actually very happy to have the prayer card for now. In the future, I would love to, uh, I would love to trade our prayer card away and pick up a better offensive item. Like Krampus' head, for example, but, uh... Obviously, Krampus' head is probably pretty unlikely to show up again. Lucky Rock is really good if we start being able to crush some rocks in our future. Double Dingle! I don't know if I've ever seen this before. So this is gonna be a little bit trickier, because we're gonna have to pay attention to, uh, two patterns at once. But I still don't think Dingle's very hard. Especially on a bigger room. Like, the big problem with Dingle is that, you know, it's... Ooh. Uh, the big problem with Dingle sometimes is that, uh, you're kind of in a congested space, but... It's such a large space. That's bad damage, but I, I did see it coming. Not that that makes it any better, but, um... On, a, on such a large space, I don't expect to run into too much trouble. Especially, like, those charges are, are easy to avoid, man. I still take issue with anybody who thinks single Dingle, or even double Dingle, is that tough. But, you know, to each their own. I would rather find Dingle tough and find, uh... Gurglings, easy. So I, in a way, I guess I'm just jealous. We got an angel room. Old bandage for an HP up. Our angel room has three spirit hearts. I'm not gonna try to do the Mega Satan thing. I'm not just copping out, but we just need to get like a... Either a lamb or a cathedral kill here. You know, there's a very small chance we might be able to get three... Um... Three plays of the prayer card here, so I'm gonna use the prayer card right now. The other thing that makes it a little bit of a oh, so bad. The other thing that makes it a little bit of a nice choice is that, uh, or a plausible choice, is that we have so many spirit hearts that it's almost unfathomable that I completely fuck it up and lose um, my eternal heart. So that's lucky rock in action right there, and that's me being an idiot in action right there. But at least we got our spirit heart back, uh, and we'll get a bomb here. If we can ever blow up more rocks, we'll get a ton of money. Oh, Spoonbender, so good. Okay, so I think this affects Bob's brain, too. I don't know if it affects Abel, though. It would be nice if it did. That would make Abel a little better. It would still be like a shittier version of Little Steven, but hey. The other thing that's great about uh, Spoonbender is that it has so many cool synergies with other items, like Brimstone, for example. I know we had Brimstone on the last run, but if we could get Brimstone homing... I would definitely take it. Oh, what am I thinking there? I actually got, like, demonstrably angry at myself for a second there. I was like, you're right next to that enemy. Why are you trying to use Bob's brain, you idiot? Uh, sure, you know what? We have the cash. We'll buy the map. We'll buy a BFF. There's no pills for sale. I really... Well, now with the map, we can see... If we don't buy the battery now, but we buy it when we leave the floor, assuming there's combat on every room, I think we can, or almost every room, just two of these remaining rooms, I think we can get, uh, we can kind of scum our way to an extra HP upgrade. Okay, we can't get that. One more room full of combat. Yeah, okay, this should do it. So this will give us an HP upgrade, then we use the battery from that shop. That was so bad. We use the battery from the shop and get another HP upgrade. Oh, and the cash. The cash is real. 
So we're up to 15 cents again. Uh, I bought the I bought BFF just because we could, basically. Just because our money is absurd right now. Uh, and getting this extra HP helps make up for the fact a little bit, I think, that I'm an idiot. And lost uh, the spirit hearts. Now, if we could just get, like, Leo or something, that would be amazing for us. I'm willing to sacrifice a spirit heart at this point to, uh... To go to this cursed room. But we should check and make sure we can't just bomb our way into it via the shop, or via the secret room first. We can. Alright, so now we can go to it for free. Which is a lot better, in case you were wondering how I felt about that issue. Okay. Free troll bomb. Pretty solid. Dare we check out this room? I think we dare. Even though it is two keys. Three chests. One bomb. A little bit of money. And uh, we got two bombs, one key, and three cents. I don't think it was worth it, but it wasn't terribly not worth it. So I'm really hoping on the next floor, because we didn't take anything that ruined, uh, like, deal with the devil precedence, I really, really hope we're actually able to do a devil fight. Or a devil room. But our HP is sitting very solid right now. We got the map. I've gone on record many times as saying I don't think the map is very good anymore. We may pick that up. Uh, oh, I like it. Big fan. It makes our... Um, well, I mean, it's a slow orbital, which is great, but also, since we have uh, BFF, it's even larger than usual. So this blocks like 30% of the hits that could be coming in. What do we... You know what? I mean, Lucky Rock has been fine, but left hand has the potential to be a lot better. That's my philosophy on it. Uh, Bob's brain. Right. Every room, I need like some some kind of like pop up that is just like don't forget you have Bob's brain. Don't don't fire directly at enemies that are right next to you because you have Bob's brain. Also, if I could actually hit enemies with it, that would be a good start. I am gonna go to our curse room right away. I'm not too worried about losing uh, red hearts. That helps. That helps a lot. We have enough money to make our shop worthwhile as well. You know what's really frustrating about Bob's brain sometimes? It doesn't... Oh, they're all dead anyway. It doesn't fire as soon as you enter the room. If it fired as soon as you entered the room, it wouldn't be so bad because it would just murder something. But because you have to wait, uh, like, three seconds or something, it makes it more problematic. Okay, I'm, ha I'm happy to do this room just for the pills. Do we know what they do? One's a tears upgrade. One's hematemesis. I mean, we could use, like, hematemesis and then pick up some hearts and double our HP and probably... Or, like, double our, um... With two of hearts, double our consumable HP. But, uh, what's the point? We'll get, like, two extra red hearts on the ground? Just give me a lover's card or something. Okay. I don't think that's the last one, is it? And the other shitty thing about Bob's brain is that we need it. Like, desperately need it. As you can see... Uh, without Bob's brain, we're not really dealing that much damage to these enemies. Uh, I mean, we have some other things that help out a little bit. Dead Bird does what Dead Bird does. It's not very good, though. That didn't hit? How does that not hit? Oh, thank you, Abel. We will use our uh, prayer card. Again, if we just find our shop and there's a battery in it, there's a chance we could scum one extra HP upgrade out of it. I hate this. Oh, well, luckily, I don't think we ever have to come back in that direction again. No, can't fire Bob's brain yet. There we go. If you can fly, I imagine those Bob's brain woes uh, become more like Bob's brain woes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week. Yes, you have to sit through the whole presentation in order to get the free lunch. Um, we'll buy the pill first. It's tears up, okay. So I would like to get uh, the boss key, or the dungeon key. We're fucked. There, at least one of them's dead. Um, I we, we tackled this like two runs ago, but it's nice to get the dungeon key on the same run where you have uh, left hand, because it gives you way, way, way more chest spawn rate. Which in our case, that was a really good shot there, uh, gives us more red, red chest spawn rate. Which means more spirit hearts, more potential guppy items, etc., etc. Key beggar, huh? There was no battery for sale, though, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to get our uh, 
our extra crack at uh, HP there, but at the same time, I can't be too salty about that. We can be happy knowing we tried. Maybe we'll get like a 48 hour energy something or something from our boss fight. I don't know how it would happen, but you know, maybe. Maybe I'll wake up and I'll be Brad Pitt tomorrow morning. Who knows? What a terrible bit of damage to take right there. All right, Bob's brain's ready. Let's fight our boss. It's war. I was gonna say why, <laughs> as if there was like any rhyme or reason to it being war. We should have taken Lucky Rock into this fight because uh, we're breaking all these effing rocks here thanks to Bob's brain. We would have so much more money. I would really like the two cents, by the way. If you could give me the two cents. That missed. Just a very slight turn in his trajectory. Totally fucked me there. And there. And... Well, we weren't even close that time. There we go. Okay. I took some damage. That's okay. We're not going to lose red hearts. We're very lucky, by the way, that we have so many uh, spirit hearts. Because I'm taking a lot of stupid damage. That's not abnormal, though. Ball of bandages. So that's a second orbital, which is probably a preferable outcome. I am disappointed, though, to not see a deal with the devil there. So we've got a nice little, like, roving shield type thing going on. Oh, please be here. Save me so much trouble. Be here. Oh, real mad. Okay. How else do we do this? Well, if you don't give me what I need... The thing is, I really don't want to go to the other side of the map because I have to go through that uh, spike room. Oh. That's just spiders, dog. I was actually hoping I might be able to blow him up. That's pretty good, but at the same time... No, thank you, sir. Well, we got a key back, at least. We're still one cent shy, though. Well, what are we What are we trying to find now? Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to have to give up on our shop-type area here. And just head down to the next floor instead. A little disappointing, because uh, I think boss key could have been pretty good for us, but... It happens, you know? Sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you. We're going down to, yeah, hopefully depths to. Even if it's Necropolis, we should be able to survive. The run's all right so far. Depths to. All right, with one key, this is the last floor where we can, uh, you know, really expect to make enormous gains. I don't know if there's actually like a diminished deal with the devil chance. Because you didn't really factor deal with the devil chance in on vanilla runs uh, for for mom fights because you uh, very rarely got them. Unless you had a special card. Number one. So I'll take it. But there's there's definite problems with number one. In fact, and I knew this going in, but number one plus Bob's brain is potentially disastrous. But as long as we play our cards right and don't just mindlessly fire, which, believe me, is hard for me to commit to. But as long as we don't just mindlessly fire, we should have a pretty good chance of making number one work out in our favor. Um, without putting ourselves too much in harm's way. Is my hope and dream, at least. It does raise our DPS. Two bombs to get over there is well worth it. This could be worth it as well. I love when it, when you shoot Bob's brain and it doesn't explode, it's like a huge liability. It's like, oh fuck. Okay, let's take five minutes out of my life to figure this shit out. Nothing there. Uh, boss trap room. Let's be honest, this is not a run where we'd expect to be able to go to our boss trap room. Similarly, I'm not going to use our prayer card yet. Because I think we're only going to get one, uh, one eternal heart. I think we're only going to get one or two eternal hearts, which are functionally the same. Unless our shop has a battery. Um, and I don't have enough spirit hearts that I trust myself to not lose the eternal heart in, in the process of this here. So, so yeah, that's it, basically. We haven't been to our shop yet, so I don't really love the idea of gambling on this judgment. But I may. For now, I may finally get some use out of this two of hearts card. Let's go down like one more. I'm not comfortable going too much further than that yet. Then... Oh, so bad. It's alright, just one spirit heart down the drain. And there we go, he gave it back to us. Hopefully we don't lose another one on the way out. 
Give us the bean. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, well, let's come down here. We don't need the prayer card right now. That was terrible. I'm very, well, okay. I'm very happy I didn't use the prayer card. Does bandage, I guess the old bandage or a super bandage, one of the two, they give us HP when we get hit. Sometimes, maybe. That's good to know. Wish I could get over there. Um, what's gonna be better for us long term? Being able to poison enemies once per room, or having the, the prayer card and getting, well how many more HP are we gonna even be able to get as a result of, uh, oh you're still alive. Uh, how many HP are we even gonna be able to get as a result of the prayer card now? After this floor it'll be two more. Is the bean worth two HP? It may be. By the way, I know I have the bean active right now. Uh, that's because it's the right play because we're only gonna use, uh, we're only gonna use uh, the prayer card when we leave. I'm, I'm torn. I know the bean is not that good. And it's not even whether the bean's worth two HP because that's kind of a false question. The question is more, is it worth the difference between 10 HP and 12 HP? That is literally 2 HP, but it's not the difference between 1 HP and 3 HP, which is substantially more likely to make a difference on your run. Hmm. Interesting. It's a very interesting kind of conundrum we got our hands on here. I'm thinking I'm going to use the prayer card on this floor and then take the bean with me moving onwards. Even though the bean is not very good, it is better than... Uh, it, it, it's something offensive, at least, for us to have. We can do stuff like that. Actually give some damage to enemies. It's very low damage though. But the prayer card's gonna reach uh, peak usefulness soon. Hopefully, I was gonna say there's something in here that just solves my problem for me. Um, well, in a way the battery does. But there's not enough rooms for me to take advantage of it. So, first off, health upgrade from the pill. That makes it even more likely that we're gonna take the bean, to be honest with you. We will buy sharp plug, even though I don't fully understand it. And uh, we'll donate some money here, what little we can anyway. And that was actually perfect timing. What we should have done, probably, because we may still end up losing this eternal heart here, is uh, bought the extra spirit heart to back it up. Or, yeah, because we can't leave, right? So, sure. Well, let's hope we don't get hit more than twice on the mom fight. We probably will. Even still, I think this is um, pretty much where we want to be with respect to our run here. It's not the strongest run we've ever had. We want strength or two of hearts? I mean, strength makes it less likely we'll probably lose this eternal heart, but two of hearts, a little bit more survivable in the long term. Yeah, I like this one. It's a bit of a puzzle. We effed it up. But uh, Red Mom, despite being faster, should actually be a lot easier to hit with Bob's brain. You know, the, the feet are just there more often. We could also do the cheeky thing, the thing you do in vanilla. And, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> Try to let the orbitals uh, do some damage, but... There we go. We, we The orbitals did a ton of damage, but we did lose the eternal heart. So, shows what I know. Okay, let's stop taking hits now. Stop being cute a minute ago. Thank you. We'll at least take the negative with us. Yeah, we, we hemorrhaged some HP there. Shit happens. Down to the next floor. I'm thinking this could be our first lamb kill, but... You know, at the same time, these are... I gonna guess it's top left here. Top middle, almost. Uh, at the same time, the lamb floor is tough, man. Like, dark room is it's nothing to F with. I don't know if it's harder than the chest, but it's hard, man. Stay away, please. Gurglings, don't do me... Oh, you you sort of did me dirty, Gurglings. I, I feel bad about that. I made the right decision for direction. That feels pretty good. I'm a brave man. Taking number one and Bob's brain. Let's see if it works out in a deal with the devil here. I kind of doubt it. I'm waiting for Bob's brain to come back so we can do damage to the boss quickly. 
We know one thing, it's not Mr. Fred. Conquest. Well, Conquest, a bit of a happy accident here maybe, is actually prob- well, White Pony I should say, is probably a lot better for us than, uh, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna double our HP. We were already past the point where we should have, but that's okay. Um, White Pony is probably a lot better for us than uh, the Bean is for the passive ability to fly. So I'm actually, for once, pretty happy to be fighting Conquest. I don't know if this trick still works. Trick is you hide in the door, and then you uh, don't take damage from the beams of light. But yeah, the ability to fly is a lot better for us, I think. Uh, sorry, Bean. You tried, though. You did some good stuff. Now, if I had to guess, probably bottom right or top left. So we're going to try top left first. Somewhat paradoxically, because it's further away. So I think that makes it a little bit more likely. That might I might be talking out of my ass, by the way. Boss room could be directly below me or something, I don't know. Hematomesis is actually, uh, and you know, you're gonna say I'm crazy for this right off the bat, but it's a potentially game-winning card. Now it's potentially fucking worthless too, I'll tell you that straight up. But um, how is it potentially game-winning? If we get low on HP, I'm talking like two hearts maybe, one heart maybe even, uh, we pop Hematomesis. It doesn't take any red hearts away, and it drops one to four on the ground, I think. Okay. This was not the right way. Um, it drops four red hearts on the ground. That could be the... Oof. That could be the difference between beating a boss and losing against a boss. Don't... Don't chase me, okay? Thank you. Death. You know what? Let's just finish this room off with a death card. Maybe we'll get something. Hey, Necronomicon! All right. I didn't expect to get a secret. But there we go, and it also came with a bombs or key pill, which we're not going to use. We'll be heading to the bottom right now instead then, which means we are going to unfortunately cross paths with this big room. I would love to say like, oh, we'll just use our spacebar item there, but truth be told, White Pony is not that good. Probably not going to earn us a whole hell of a lot. Did manage to kill a few of those guys, so I can't be too salty about that. I'm going to go to this curse room, even though it's going to cost us our spirit heart. Why? Well, first off, could be something good. Secondly, we could spawn some extra HP via the uh, the bandage, just for getting hurt on the way in. So even if we lose spirit hearts, we might be able to convert them into red hearts. Even if we didn't, I still think it's worthwhile. Please die before Bob's brain comes back. Oh, shit, it's Dead Cat. Um, so, Dead Cat's terrible for us here. Which is a shame, because it does give us the Whore of Babylon. But, oh well. A little, too little too late on that one. Would have found a lot of use for that if it showed up in, like, uh, our first deal with the Devil, maybe. Instead of Krampus' head. But, I can't be that salty, because this run has turned out fairly well. Our mom's hard kill is almost a no-brainer, I think. Our Satan kill, a little tricky. Well, what do we choose then? Do we want to fight the lamb or do we want to fight uh, Isaac? Honestly, with this run, I'm feeling it's powerful but not too powerful. And that tells me that we should probably go for an Isaac kill up in the cathedral. I'm trying to stay like organized with what I'm trying to unlock here, but uh, I think that's the right play. We might be able to beat the lamb, but it's just a little bit too much of a crapshoot. We could still pretty easily lose on the cathedral, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I mean, look at the look at the range we got on ourselves here. But I just unlocking like one item per run would make me feel so good after the terrible luck I had yesterday. And by luck, I mean terrible runs. Some of those were pretty lucky. All right. Important to get a good start here. Wait for Bob's brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So we get a brief period without Bob's brain. That'll give us a chance to take care of these turrets. Look, we weren't going to get through this fight without getting hit. If we're going to get hit, I'm glad we got hit early. Hopefully not early and often. Hopefully just early. Um, because that means we can get Dead Bird actually in here. And if Dead Bird can actually just aggro... You're so close, Dead Bird. Come on, work with me here. I don't want Able to be my primary damage dealer. There we go. We got uh, Dead Bird at least sticking in the center. I can live with that. 
Ah, I, I thought for sure I was standing in the right spot. Deadbird, you're in there. You're in there, Deadbird. Yeah, okay. Now Bob's brain. This is your time to shine, buddy. My brain is kind of melting here. I don't know why the teratoma parts are breaking apart so quickly. I think maybe Mom's heart's bullets are breaking them. Okay, Bob's brain gets in there again. This is good. The orbital shield is in front of me right now, so I don't have to be too afraid. I'm barely even hitting her um, with my number one range right now. Please, poison, please. Oh, shit. All right, is the cathedral open? The cathedral's open, let's go. Come on, come on, the church is open. It's gonna be tight. Hematomesis is not a foregone conclusion. Uh, it's gotta be, like, far left. It's almost inconceivable that it's anywhere else here. Unfortunately, because that's the furthest away. Uh, but for real. That's the most likely place for us. Sounds like the Halo soundtrack on here. Seriously though, explode please. I don't want all my damage to be done with Bob's brain. It's just, with number one, that's pretty much what I painted myself into here. And I'm not loving that. I, I kind of regret taking number one. I'm normally so excited when it shows up. Hard for me to turn that excitement off. So Mega Fatty should be one of the easier bosses for us. The problem is... We don't want to be close to Mega Fatty. Because of the, the jumping. But when it does like a sucking attack, we'll try to get in there and uh, let our familiars do a little bit of the do a little bit of the dirty there, you know? Work please, work please, work please, thank you. And the other thing we could do is just have like stand here and have Abel at least get some shots in. It's not the most effective way to deal damage. I'm not going to use my active effects because I think, you know, I'd rather save it. Maybe it'll be more effective against Isaac or something like that. Or a room leading up to Isaac. That's tougher than this one. Because we still got through this one without getting hit. Now, we have to check over here. Just in case. Because I would feel terrible if we didn't go to this room and then the boss room was the one right next to it. The good news is, War is, uh, you know, he's an easy-ish boss. And beyond that, uh, when he goes into his kind of permanent running state, we're fast. And we might be able to even do some orbital damage if we get very lucky. See, that was crazy. Uh, if we can deal some more orbital damage, we'd be in a great spot. Problem is, I don't want to stand too close to these enemies because we're in uh, not, not the best spot HP-wise. This should be relatively simple. Yeah, I'm even going to throw, throw a bomb in here. Just to speed it up even a little bit further. Good room. Good room. I like this room. More rooms like this room, please. Okay. This is maybe where we try that bad boy out. Good, that was that was good. There's still at least a couple of hands. Maybe one only, actually. I don't think the hand died. Oh, okay, it's hard to tell. If they, oh, there's gotta be, there's at least two then. Oh, bad dodging, bad dodging. Now I think the hands are gone. Good. Good. Oh, dodged right into it. Uh, next hit, we've got to use Hematomesis. Thank you, Horror Babylon. Here comes Hematomesis. We did get 4 HP out of it, which is maybe the luckiest draw we could have gotten. Oh, jeez. I mean, the, the boss could be over here. It's a little bit shorter. Let's take a mad kind of fucking dash at it and check. I don't see us beating Isaac without getting hit four times, but uh, it could happen. Literally, it's a literal possibility. This is not our boss room. That's good. Yeah, okay. One Bob's brain is enough to kill you. That's pretty solid. And Isaac is still a little bit of a bullet heli fight, so... You know, we uh, could survive it. Thanks to our kind of enormous suite of uh, orbitals here. Seriously, Bicycle Helmet Man, just fuck off forever. Okay. Oh, it's a little harrowing. It's just death, right? Not that that's necessarily easy, but... We can fly. Got a good rate of fire. Those things aren't very tanky. 
Bob's brain, Bob's brain, Bob's brain. Ah, oh, actually a total waste of Bob's brain there. I still think like this is two runs, not in a row, but in relatively quick succession where Bob's brain has been a difference maker. Were it not for Bob's brain, uh, I think we would be in a much more difficult position on this run. And I don't even think that's at all controversial. I oh, I still don't think it's an item worth taking on many runs, but you know, it's the it's the constant D or the D threshold, I think is what I called it. If your threshold or your damage is below the D threshold, then it's worth taking Bob's brain. We're fast, thankfully, so that room for once is not going to pose much of a threat. We are at the point, by the way, where I should be blowing up all these pots. Every single one of these fucking pots. Give me spirit hearts, give me red hearts, I don't give a shit. Give me, give me more bombs. Anything that gives us a better chance. Good stuff. Relatively easy room. Now there's no way around it, we're gonna have to go through one more big room here. Big room usually at this point means a, a boss or two. Can we get two at once here if we put it like right here? Or we can get zero at once. I'm gonna put one more down. Oh man. That doesn't feel good. To be honest though, I think I chose properly on this room. Nobody likes fighting greed, I think. But double greed is possibly simpler than some other rooms we could be running up against right now. Oh, oh, it's I can see forever. I was so hoping this was gonna be something stupid like full health. We haven't had very many pills, uh, or at least I should say we haven't had pills in a long time. We gotta go back and try to find our secret rooms. Really? Okay, good. I was like, really, really? You can't do me like that. Uh, we're not gonna go to our... We're not gonna go to our uh, curse room. Oh, come on. I'm trying to see if our like second secret room is available here, because it could have red hearts. Second secret rooms routinely are just chock full of red hearts. Don't even talk about what you just saw in that room. You didn't see shit. <laughs> that was uh, that was some accidental dodging. Let's put it that way. There's our boss room. I think we're fucked against Isaac, honestly. That's not gonna help. Uh, yeah, 3 HP does not put us in a great position. That being said, we've been parts of uh, miraculous Isaac runs in the past. What makes a miraculous Isaac run work? A sun card. Uh, I'm using my orbitals here, by the way, because I don't give a shit about anything in my life anymore. Um, a sun card, yes. Full health, yes. W we are gonna have to survive this room first. What is up with these bullets? They're orange because they're red from uh, from Horror Babylon, but yellow from number one, I guess. There's still like nearly a full envy in here. Somehow it didn't hit anything there, huh? Yeah, I believe it. We still gotta stay far, far away. I thought Abel was my enemy for a second there. Oh, there you go. Yep. Well, that's gonna do it for that run. I had a good time on it. And I think that run is winnable. But unfortunately, it just didn't quite get there for us this time. But in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.